ladies and gentlemen, you just heard a song from a record called Best They Can. And the song was called Best They Can, and it was recorded by Brendan McKinney and the 99 Brown Dogs. But we have two brown dogs in here right now, and we also have with us Brendan McKinney, all the way from uh, from uh, Adroit Records out of Nashville. Here he comes. He's got him a beer. Come on in and sit yourself down, kick your shoes off, and stay a while. Just for your just for your guitar later, Brendan. And all right. Then you just have to get right up on it. Talk good. I don't good. need I don't need earphones, do I? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. You'll be fine. But How's you had to. You had to going good. We had to get right in there for it. Get in on it. Okay, that. there he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brendan McKinney joining us here at the Mad Dog a Day radio Thanks. program. Brendan, you're from, uh, where was it you were from? You're from uh, Philadelphia? Right, yeah, right outside Philadelphia. I was born inside the city and grew up more or less outside. So uh, Jim, is, do you have anything to do with the fact that Jim Track likes the Philadelphia Phillies? Do I have anything to do with that? Yeah. Or do I, I don't know. I have nothing to do with that. No, okay. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you got to love them Phillies, right? Oh, well, I don't know, man. I'm an Atlanta Braves fan. Those guys, they give us a hard time, man. Well, listen, you got to give it to them. They're a good team. They are indeed. Yeah. Philadelphia's a great sports city. Yeah, it is. What and that's a great stadium. Have you been there yet? Uh, never been there, oh, no. It's, it's great. I'll tell you. Citizens Bank has been, about, been, been there about five years, six years now. Wow. It's a good place to watch a ball game. You, uh, you're an Eagles fan as well, I guess. I am. Yeah. So what do you think about Michael Vick? And the uh, Kevin Cobb controversy? Or? Yeah. Well, just Michael Vick in general playing for Philadelphia. Well, seeing that you have dogs here, I better be careful what I say, right? <laughs> these, but, uh, uh, these dogs would not fare well in, in a dog fight, man. Yeah. At the Bad News Kennels, they last about, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I don't agree with what he did or, or anything like that. No. But uh, I do agree that uh, everybody deserves to pay for what they did or i mean they they he did pay it do his time he yeah. spent like 18 months in jail yeah he, he served what he was supposed to serve all right and uh i just hope that he you know it got to the core of him you know that he learned his lesson yeah and uh you know he's uh, a changed man and he's it, lo it looks a lot sharper on the on the football field um uh, headwise and uh you know he's always been a great athlete so but sad to say goodbye to Donovan McNabb, of course. Well, yeah, I was one of the few that still wanted to give Donovan another shot at that season, because uh, at this season, because of uh, the burners he had with, you know, Jeremy Macklin yeah. and Deshaun Jackson, yeah, and Lashawn McCoy, and they're all young, you know. And uh, Donovan, with his um, experience, and he had a lot of playoff experience, you know, a lot of good playoff. Yeah, experience. he's a wise football, wise football mind. Yeah. He knows a lot about the sport. I mean, but you know, he's this week uh he got benched by um by uh what's his name? Uh, Shanahan. Yeah. And there's a little controversy about that. Shanahan said something that he wasn't up to his he wasn't in physical condition to do the 2-minute drill. Right. Which is uh Well, talk about being in physical condition. Then you yeah. have the situation with Brett Favre, who's out there on the field, he fractures his foot and then he goes back and plays on it. And continues, I think he started what 291 games in a row now. It might be just under that or just there, around there. He's definitely uh, coming up on 300. I think he's going to have to have another season if he wants to get to 300. Yeah. But, uh, no one's done that before. No, no. He's, the Cal, like they say, the Cal Ripken of, uh, of football. But, yeah. uh, but the thing is, um, sometimes I, I think he creates this controversy. If they saw the last game, they knocked him, out, knocked him out of the game and he was holding his jaw. And yeah. I don't know if that's just to create the... Uh, you know, the tension for next week, will he start, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan, man. We're talking football here with Brendan McKinney. Brendan McKinney uh, and the 99 Brown Dogs, they have a brand new record out called Best They Can, and it's on Adroit Records, and Adroit Records out in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. However, Brendan, he's from uh, Philadelphia. Now, you've toured all over the States. You've toured a lot around Europe and in Scandinavia. You've been here before in Denmark, yeah? I have, yeah. I used to live here for a little time. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, nice. And then uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Germany, all around. Uh, but, yeah, not so much in Finland, but definitely in Nor in Nor Norway, Bergen, Norway. Is, okay. Uh, I, in fact, I did um, a lot of recording. You know Bergen, Norway? No, I used to go to Finland. I'm from Finland. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was on a boat from uh, Turco to... Uh, Turco, yeah. To... Uh, I guess it was Stockholm, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, back and forth. But that was really it. I met a lot of Finnish people. Yeah, but yeah. you should go definitely. They would love it. Well, yeah, 
you know, I mean, it, it's all about having the time to do it yeah. and everything, and you know, but definitely, definitely want to go back and meet some good f Finnish people, down to earth people. <laughs> yes, they are. So I tell you what, what, what's your, I mean, when, when uh, Shelly and Craig, do you know those three, Shelly and Craig and Vince? I do, I do. I have had the pleasure. Um, you know, the thing is, when, when uh, I signed this deal with Jim, um, I really didn't know him, but um, I did, you know, since part of the deal after, you know, signing this deal with uh, nine other people um, was, you know, it was almost like creating the own little community, and and uh, a lot of a lot of those folks knew each other already, and I, I guess I was kind of the new guy on the block, you yeah. Know? Um, but I uh, got you know I've written with each of them, and uh, and it's yeah, good people, yeah, good good, good people. artists, really good artists, great yeah. songs, too. great songs, and really uh, enjoyed Craig Monday. Yeah, yeah. He had a couple of really good ones that I really enjoyed. But I, I must admit, Brendan, I just absolutely love this song that I'm finding from you on YouTube called uh, "Yeah She Does." Yeah, she does. I, yeah. I just uh, she she feels good, soft and silky smooth. Yeah. She smells nice. Yeah. Like honeysuckle in bloom. Like honeysuckle in bloom. You know how that smells, right? Oh Lord, you know I do, brother. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, it smells yeah. good, man. Yeah, it smells yeah. real good. I just think uh, that that song puts me in a great mood. The first time we heard it, I heard it on my uh, iPhone and uh, me and uh, JD the director here were clipping together the show and I, I played it and everybody that was there kind of stopped and listened and it you, you got a great character I hope I can get you to play that one for us sure because me and Sammy like. we want to sing the chorus with you oh that'd be great that'd okay be great. cool yeah. <laughs> right yeah. on talking with Brendan McKinney uh, Brendan's going to be playing where are you going to be playing are you playing tonight I'll be playing tonight um, in, at the Scottish pub and tomorrow night and then I'm going to go to how did you say it Vila. Vila. I say Vila, but it was Vila. Yeah. And then um uh, and then Federicia. In fact, my friend here Neil who's who's with me here today, he's uh he's hooked me up with some gigs while I'm over here. Oh, that's great. I, you know, I just got this new CD in my hand like uh, literally less than 24 hours before I had to leave and it was uh it was it was kind of tight there. I wasn't sure I was going to have it, but uh, anyway, yeah. I've got it. And uh, Well, it's not the only adroit CDs here, of course. There's this one, yep. which I want to get you to sign for us, if you don't mind, Brendan. Uh, no problem. We got that one here, and then we have those four. And then somewhere in the city is an entire box of them that Jim managed to leave in a taxi when they were here. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> okay. lying. No, talking well, with Brendan McKinney, adroit rec recording artist all the way from Nashville. I tell you what, uh, something I wanted to ask you, Brendan, was uh, what is, I mean, you've been here before, and yeah. you say you lived here for a little while, but yeah. just now you've been back in the States, and this is the first time back to Denmark in how many years? Two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Yeah. Well, I mean, what what would you, thanks a lot, bro. Uh -huh. What would you say is the, uh, what would you say is the most, is the biggest difference between this society and that society? The biggest difference? The biggest difference. Like, well, okay. Um, to uh, you personally, one thing that shocks you about the you know the culture shock, a culture shock thing. Um, well, you know that's that's a that's a, a big question because there was a lot of culture shock when I first came over, and then culture shock when I went back. In fact, the first culture shock I got was the first time I came over was, and going back from that, you know, and realizing yeah. like what happened. You know, it was great. You know, and just every you know people are very laid back here, mm -hmm. and. Uh, there, you know, it, it compared to Philadelphia, it's a there's a lot more uh, pressure in Philadelphia, and it's a little more a lot more hustle and bustle, um, and um, and a little bit more like uh, sink or swim because no one's going to teach you yeah. how. You know, more rat race going on. More rat race. The rats move a lot slower here, man. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. A whole lot slower. Yeah. That's some of them don't even. Some of them jump off the wheel every now and then. Just watch the others. Kind of no, I'm not calling Dave a rat, but where is he today? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. No doubt, man. It, yeah. From your record just came out, uh, Brendan McKinney and the 99 Brown Dogs. Of course, you can find that at Adroit Records. That's uh, a d r o i t Records dot com. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Right. We're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back with Mr. Brendan McKinney on the Mad Dog and Dave Radio Program. <laughs> 